Hey everybody, Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be installing a really cool Ultimate K9 Partner. And as always, if this video helps you in any way, be sure to drop a like and then comment down below, guys. It helps it rank a little bit higher on YouTube. And if you're brand new to the channel, think about subscribing. I really stay daily content and I stream all the time. Really appreciate the help. So K9 Partner Mod was a standalone plugin. It has been taken off the lspdfire.com site. I spoke to the author. He said he uh, felt like it was not needed anymore. And I do agree, it is not needed anymore. All you really need is Ultimate Backup. So make sure that you do have Ultimate Backup installed. I'll be sure to link everything that I'm going to be using in today's video down in the description, including this vehicle. This vehicle here is a, probably one of my favorites. It is by Gump. It is an older style model, but it is all ELS. And like I said, it is probably one of my favorites. This particular uniform pack is a BCSO EUP uniform pack. I'll link that down below as well. So let's get started. So what you want to do is bring up Ultimate Backup uh, menu key, and then my, my key is the O key, by the way. Uh, I would suggest make sure you change that in your INI file, your, your configuration file. So I changed mine to the O key. You, you probably have a different key. It's totally up to you. But uh, if you arrow over to the left, you're going to get straight to K9 Partner. However, if you arrow over to the right, you're going to go through Code 2, Code 3 Backup, Partner, and that's how I showed you how to do the Ultimate Partner the other day. And then you got K9 Partner right there. Now you have a couple of different selections. You can do Shepherd, Rottweiler, Husky, and Retriever. And those are the main ones. Now I have a K9 partner that is, uh, it's more of a Malinois Shepherd type of model. If you want me to show you how to install that, I'll be happy to do that. But uh, the cool thing is with the Shepherd model, uh, it does have a vest. That's the reason why I like to use it a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and spawn him in just like that. So once you get them spawned in, you can go, if you're not happy with the model, uh, you can actually go back into uh, the ultimate backup key right there, your menu key. And then uh, once again, scroll over to K9 Partner. And then here's the cool thing is once you get them spawned, if you're not happy you know, with what they look like, uh, you can actually change the facial texture. So I'm going to change it to right, right there. You can see how the, uh, the Malinois looks. And then if you keep tabbing, you're going to get more of a black color. And once again, this is just for the, the Shepherd model. And I'll link that down below for you as well. And then if you keep tabbing, you can see a little different color variation right there. So that's kind of cool. And then really there's not a five, six, seven, or eight model for him. Uh, that's the one I usually use right there. Uh, you can also look at the, uh, this is just another side note. See his vest right there? Here, look real close. I'll kind of zoom in with a little bit of editing right there. So you can change the vest texture to a little bit more of a green color. Uh, a lot of uniforms in the sheriff's department are kind of a green color, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you can even do more of a, what is that, like a maroon color? And then you can do even do a blue color, so that's kind of cool. That color there would look good if it just had police on it, maybe. And then I uh, really think that's the only colors that are in that particular model there. Um, there's no other extra textures with this particular Shepherd model, uh, but I do want to show you, you can spawn a Rottweiler. You can just change them on the fly. That's Django right there, guys. He's a famous person in our YouTube channel. Uh, you can't change the facial structure because this is the base model for CHOP. Uh, but if you can change his collar, if you look close at his collar, I'll zoom in a little bit of editing there. You can see the different collars you can create. And then there's no accessories with uh, CHOP right there. Husky, same thing. You can change, um, yeah, looks like the color of the Husky right there. And then there's really nothing else you can change on the Husky. Yeah, and then Retriever, uh, you can change the color with, with him as well. Okay, so we're gonna get back to Shepherd, And then uh, what we wanna do next is, uh, you can also despawn them if you need to. But let's go through the actual controls with K9 Partner, let's go. So there's a couple things uh, that you need to know here, is you wanna uh, make sure that you go into the vehicle first. So if you just spawn your vehicle, and then you spawn a K9 Partner, uh, the K9's not gonna know what to do. It will not recognize the vehicle so make sure you go into your vehicle first and then exit the vehicle that way the game can register that it is a vehicle that you're using otherwise it will not work there's a couple ways you can get them in if you go up to the uh, side door it needs to be the back rear door uh, press your t key or the d-pad left key if you're a a controller user and then uh, you'll get a prompt uh, sometimes you have to move around a little bit and you can press the t key and then he'll hop right in what I like about that animation is it gets you out of the way and allows your canine to get into the vehicle. And then obviously you just close the door. 
Another thing you can do is a lot of, and this is in real life, a lot of canine officers have a, it's kind of more of a, a key fob, if you will, or a moat uh, uh, on their belt to get the canine out of the vehicle. It'll come in handy a little bit later when in pursuit, but hold down your T key, and then he will actually exit the vehicle that way as well. And then another thing too, and you know, because he's really well trained, you can hold down the T key, and then he'll get back into the vehicle if you wanna do remote. And now let's go get some bad guys. Okay, we have a random vehicle pulled over here. I usually like to leave my canine inside the car and then just kind of approach the uh, suspect or you know the person you're pulling over. So what you want to do is uh, typically you can ask for documents and whatnot. Uh, to the left there you'll see I've got a uh, observance window right there. It says driver and front passenger seem really nervous and sweaty. So uh, you could go through the whole process with Stop the Ped. Uh, this uh, particular tutorial is not about that, but if you want to watch my Stop the Ped tutorial, it, it's a long tutorial, but I got everything timestamped. So if you want to read through the timestamps, you can learn how to do all these things. Uh, what I'm going to do is have all occupants leave the car. And I think it's a little bit more realistic if uh, you have the actual occupant out of the car because that way the canine's not detecting, you know, maybe what's on them. Or um, you know, or maybe they don't bite them by accident, things like that. So I usually like to let them, you know, get over here, and then I'll either sit them on the ground or detain them or something like that. In this case, I'll just have them sit on the ground. I know in Texas, I live in Texas. Uh, they usually a lot of times they'll have the suspects and things like that sit on the ground. Sometimes with handcuffs, it just kind of depends. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and have them kind of follow us back this way. We'll have them sit on the ground while uh, Blaze will run around the vehicle wonder why you know they're so sweaty and things like that sometimes you'll get an observance window actually detecting um, you know odor of narcotics so you could do a couple of different things you can press the remote key by holding down the tiki from from anywhere outside the vehicle but in this case I think it looks more re realistic if you walk up to the side of the vehicle and uh, make sure it's on the back rear side passenger and then we'll get blaze out and this this has got a really cool animation if you stand near the vehicle, it's the T key, or you could do D-pad left. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go near the vehicle and then watch the animation here. Very nice. And so Blaze is going to walk around the vehicle. He's going to bark at the rear of the vehicle. That's my canine Blaze. And then he's going to bark at the uh, driver's side. He's going to go to the very front of the vehicle. Sometimes people will store things in engines and whatnot. And then they'll go to the passenger side. Now, if he continues to bark like he's doing right now, and then he's going to sit down, and that means he got a hit. That's how that works right there. So then he's going to pop back up. And then what I usually see what most canine officers do, you can leave him out of the vehicle if you want to kind of keep an eye on suspects. It may be a good idea to do that. Uh, in this case, um, what I'm going to do is you can actually just from here, you can hold down the T key and he'll get into the car that way. Uh, or you can you know, shut the car door and then open it back up if you want to. And then I usually go through the whole role play, role play process of explaining to the driver that uh, we did get a hit and we do have permission to search. So we're going to go ahead and search and this is all through stop the ped. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do a hotkey function right there. And we'll see what he detected there. Uh, two empty baggies of brown powder residue. Very nice. So then I could come back here. And uh, once again, this tutorial is not based off of Stop the Ped. But you would do a narcotics field test in the very back here, you know, to detect, you know, what kind of narcotics they are. And I'm not going to do it um, all right now. I'm going to go ahead and just edit this out. But you would lift the back end of the vehicle. And then you'd go through the whole narcotics field test. So it's kind of cool. And then you can arrest them that way. Okay, we're going to go through a role play scenario, guys, that uh, the driver is being non-compliant and he's trying to, to leave the area. So if you have your taser out, for example, this is just an example, and let's pretend like he's going to run. I'm going to force him to run by pointing at him and double tapping T. He could do that through stop the ped. So let's pretend like he's running. This is all role play. So double tap T. And now I'm going to get Blaze out of the car. I'm going to hold down T and he's getting out of the car. Here he comes and he's going to haul ass all the way towards this particular suspect who's running across the street and he runs very fast and he will catch him 
and just keep on running and you know the suspect has no chance because he cannot outrun you know a fur rocket <laughs> fur missile there and he's gonna tackle him you got him okay now it's gonna look like uh, blaze killed him but uh, he's not down that's just the way the mod kind of works uh, he's gonna get back up and he's gonna surrender just think about it, man. Just think. and so I'm gonna go ahead and force him down on his face Got a little blood right there from the Malinois bite. And you can roleplay the hell out of that if you want to, you know, scream at him, whatever you want to do, guys. Okay, we got him back to the vehicle right here, like so he'd be under arrest. And the cool thing is it's all fluid, it's all hot keyed and whatnot. That's what makes this uh, particular Ultimate po Partner K9 mod uh, to work really, really nice. And so while you have a hold of the suspect, you can just hold down your T key and then he'll uh, Blaze can get in the car while you still have a hold of the suspect. So that's kind of nice. I like I like that functionality. That should be wrapping up for today's video. I've got a little bonus clip for you at the end to show you what can happen, you know, when a suspect gets out of their car with a knife. So stick around to the bonus clip at the end of the video. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. I greatly appreciate you watching. If this video had helped you in any way, guys, even in the slightest, uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you watched the whole video. I greatly appreciate when you do that. And if you're brand new to the channel feel like subscribing, please do so. I'll see you in the next patrol, guys. Stay safe. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out. I'm going to leave Blades inside the vehicle. I'm going to approach the vehicle. Whoa! Hey, drop the knife, drop the knife. Drop the knife, man. Drop the knife. Holy shit, he's trying to stab me. Blaze, get him. Here, have a fur missile right up your ass. Get him, Blaze. Good boy. Got him. Got him. Got him.